triangle setups. Um, and this is my rudimentary effort and at showing a visual of what we mean by, by angled setups just from a diagram standpoint. But um, we don't always want to set up uh, perpendicular to the pitcher's mount. We want to, um, you know, we want to be able to, to play with some angles a little bit to show that umpire a better visual and make sure he's getting a chance to see that ball the way we want him to see it, right? Uh, and maybe sometimes that's a little different than how uh, it may look to everybody else. But most important thing, again, is how he's seen it and how we want him to see it. So um, here's a, a quick visual. Uh, th this is, again, a flat setup here on the left. You can see the shoulders are pretty flat. Um, they're they're but per parallel, I guess you could saw, say to the rubber and then angled where you kind of saw that flared angle cornered off to the left side. And, and what do you see? Again, if, if we're thinking ourselves from a, a perspective of there's a left-handed batter up and we've got a left-handed breaking ball coming across the plate sweeping on the left-hand side, that glove gets hidden behind his body. Okay. This catcher didn't do anything other than stand up and angle himself and notice how much more plate is, is visible on the right hand side. Notice how much more mitt is visible on the right hand side. And notice how that ball works to the center of his body. That's giving me a much better visual as a catcher and creating a much better visual for, for the umpire to see in that presentation standpoint. Okay, angled setups, we don't want to block out the umpire. Again, know where he is. We're trying to angle, but we don't want angle against him. Make sure the pitch works into the view of the umpire towards the center of our body, not across us. And, and again, you know, if you're going to do this, you got to give up something to get something, right? Just like the double play depth. You got to shorten up, tighten up to get a double play. Well, we're going to, we're going to set up. So don't worry about getting beat. Don't worry about him missing a spot. If we're going to play that game, we have to set up for the pitch to work how we want it to. And, and we have to just adjust if he misses it or he yanks something there. Okay. So again, here's another little bit more of a visual with a pitch, um, you know, Kind of again, my 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 effort at showing the pitch action. Um, so on the left hand side, let's pretend it's a right handed slider. On the left hand, on the right hand side, let's pretend it's a left handed slider. I guess I could have done those a little bit better, where left was left and right was right. But here we are. Um, so you can kind of see just from the front, you're going to see a flat presentation. And and again, just that's the angle we're talking about. Notice how that ball just works right to the middle of his body from the front side. I think it's important that we see kind of what we're talking about from here. And, and just imagine, again, if you were an umpire in the slot, how much of a better visual you're going to have from that standpoint.